Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. Coming in with Love and Marriage Huntsville for this week. It is Boss Chick versus Wife yeah. Chick. Before I get into it, let me do the YouTube thing because I've been forgetting to do so. If you are not a subscriber of the channel but you keep coming back, and yeah. we see the analytics, we know that you keep coming back and you're not subscribed, it keep telling on you. So just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's yeah. free. It's free. The Don't pressure's cost you on. Nothing. <laughs> and while you're at it, go ahead and rate the video. You can thumbs up it or you can thumbs down it. At this point, it don't even matter. You've already been counted. Right. So, I sat here and I pondered on this for like 15 minutes. And I'm like, what the hell did I get out of this episode? Other than the same thing we've gotten out of all the other episodes, right? So, we, we come to this place with everyone's relationship that everyone is evaluating where they are with their spouses or with each other yep. or they all just cross over at some point so we have kimmy kimmy is in a it's a terrible position to be in when you have one side of a situation trying to pull you to their side regardless of their wrongs or rights in the situation then you have the other side that isn't really putting that kind of pressure on you but it seems like whenever you're with that side the other side gets mad and feels like you're not being loyal to the friendship or the family. Right. That is a horrible position to be in. So mm -hmm. Kimmy decided, you know what? I'm not bucking with none of y'all right now. I'm going to go out with my girl from work and just have a breather from all of y'all. That's the best thing you could have done. Right. And then we see that Tisha, because Kimmy don't kind of took a sort of a break from her for the moment. So she decides to introduce us to another person who she says is her really good friend that's going that has just gone through a divorce or whatever, or they separated, one of the two. And she was like, you know what, well, let me go and take this self-defense class, you know, invite her along. You know, it would be beneficial for the both of us. And I agree. Mm -hmm. um, martial arts is everything. Yeah, it is. And I wish I had kept up with it, but I'm going to tell you what they did to me. <laughs> In order for me to go to the next tier, I had to fight a black belt. I told him, if you go back in that stance on me, I'm going to fight you. And I'm not going to do the martial arts fighting because I'm not going to let you hit me like that. And he said, Lynette, I got to hit you like that. And I said, well, I'm not coming back. And they thought I was playing. I ain't come back because <laughs> you're not going to hit me like that. And he ain't hit her. He did. He was going to hit me like that. He will not going to hit you. And I was going to snap and I'd be sitting up here and hearing Ryko Finest. Because <laughs> he would have two people to fight if he hit you right. I mean, but I mean, that's what he had to do. Huh? Yeah, but he didn't do it though. He did well, but I still didn't. Go so I had my spawn partner. So I was looking at my spawn partner, and I was looking over that, just yeah. making sure. So we've. I'm gonna get to the juicy part because really, that's really that all that matters to me. You know, of course, Mom Martell's been telling Mel this entire season. Look, you need to slow, slow down. down. Stop mm -hmm. doing so much. And as much as I hate to agree with Martell because he's the only person on this show that I don't like. I agree with him. Yeah. Like, she has been one. doing too much yeah. since she popped that baby out. Like, and when she was carrying the baby, she was still doing too much. She was doing much. a lot. Yeah. But especially now, it's like, bloop, mm -hmm. bloop, bloop, you take the baby. And I'm not mad that he has to share in his part of being the dad to those children. I'm not mad at that. Mm -hmm. But they need their mom as well. Right. So, she ended up going to counseling with... um. Oh, boy, name? I can't even remember his name. Boy, but, I can't remember his name. But he an excellent, he a excellent counselor. He is. He know how to ask the right questions. And you know when he smiled, I said he reminds me of someone. He I told you he remind me of your daddy. He does. <laughs> but he smiles just like Chadwick Boseman. Huh. And it just messed me up for a moment. I was like, they got that big, just bright smile. So I was like, oh, God. I'm going to have to check it out next time I see so, it. I don't quite see it at the moment. You don't need to. I saw it. <laughs> so... We got down to the bottom of why Mel operates the way that she does. She operates off of, of seceding because she always has to prove it to people that she is that chick. In other words, masking her hurt. Yeah, so success. whenever she's hurt, I'm going to show you I'm going to be great mm -hmm. at something. Right. So it's like every time someone hurts her, I'll get the boss up and, do, and ace the next challenge. Yes. So, we're at a point now where who hurt her in recent years, or currently, her husband. 
Mm -hmm. So what you're not going to do is tell me to slow down because I'm going to prove to you that regardless if you do what you need to do in this relationship, I'm still going to succeed. And although she learned that lesson in therapy, she's still not going to slow down. Right. I mean, she came up pretty much told Martell, look, I, I, I got it. I understand why I do it, but I'm not going to stop. Oh, uh, and I and I thought about too. Usually, when people like in male such situations, you kind of do the stereotypical thing that when you get hurt a lot, the first thing you gonna you know get on drugs or, or something to that nature, something right. very destructive. Drinking. Yeah, popping pills and things like that. But that's not the only drug. Yeah, success is also a drug because you can get addicted to it so much of succeeding, 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 that you never ever deal with your skit. And so by the time your skit does come out, mm. you think you think you done dealt with it, and then it's come out at the wrong time, like now, when she really needs to be present in their relationship that they're trying to rebuild. And with her children. Yeah, and with her children. So now you're going hard again, trying, you know, going hard again on this drug, because the drug user takes you from your family, mm. and it's happening all over again, but it's but in your mind, you justify it because I'm not on crack cocaine or I'm not on, you it's know, It's the acceptable crystal. drug. Yeah, it's the, yeah, the decided drug in society. But I love what the counselor had told her, said, you know, you said that your dad didn't acknowledge you and your mom used to make you call him. And I said, yeah, that sounds familiar. Um, but it's like now, it's like, uh, how did he put that thing? He was like, I don't want your children to be having the same conversation that you're having with me right now. Right. About you. About you. You're having it about your father. Now, I don't want your children to be having it about you. Mm -hmm. That you're chasing success so much that mommy was never there. Right. I was like, God, don't. And it was um, also, he was talking to her about balance and she said she didn't believe in balance. She believe in priority. priority. I in understand which I, that. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I understand to a certain degree. Yeah, there is balance and there is priority. And I'll be honest, I have not learned balance. We've tried because if you're succeeding, you want to stay hard on that. Mm-hmm. If you're failing, you want to stay hard on that to get out of the failure. And you just, yeah, it gets so hard to like juggle it all. So. If if y'all know balance, let me know. Because, <laughs> we don't know it. So I'm not gonna try to be too hard on Mel because I don't I don't know it now, but I do know from the outside looking in, she do need to slow down. Yeah. Yeah. Very much so. So like she said, she came home and she she didn't change a thing. No. But what she did do <laughs> was she brought her sister over. And there was a conversation. I mean, it was, you could tell that they have love for each other, but you can tell that those siblings don't know each other. No. And I get that. You know, mm-hmm. when you grow up in different households and the the sister said she didn't know anything about Mel until Mel was 19, 19. years old. Yeah. So, you know, you already have a resistance. because it, That's a lot. Yeah. yeah. But I commend them for being where they are right now, where they are trying. And pretty much when the sister said when she was made aware of Mel, she was in a position in her life where she was trying to get herself off of drugs. Mm -hmm. So she didn't have time to stop what she was doing to to formulate a relationship with her because she said, I was trying to fight my own demons and survive. Mm -hmm. So by the time I got myself into a level place, then you had started taking off and what you were doing and you were too busy to reach back and formulate a relationship with me. So we've always been in this strange place. But she said, I get hurt when I feel like I'm purposely left out of things of your life. Mm-hmm. But that's what happens when you don't have a relationship with people. You're not in you're not privy to parts of their lives just because we are kinfolk. But it makes me ask the question now, did Mel's sister turn to drugs because the father wasn't present? So Mel turned mm-hmm. to success, and she actually turned. That's to, a very good question. And she turned if she turned to the drug because she said she did it for like six years before she, before she Which, pulled away from it. The bad thing about that statement is the mm-hmm. bad and the good about that. That's a very short time to be hooked on drugs. Yeah, that's most yeah, people. It's, it's years. I'm talking about decades. like 10, 15, 20, 30 years. So um, for six day. years, that was a long, short run. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and you hate to say it like that, but if you know anybody, you know that's been on drugs. It's. Six years is short. But I will say this because I, you know, we try to stay balanced on the show. Uh, 
seeing that what Mel has come through and she's uh, done great. She's done excellent because usually when you come through that stuff, most of the time people do not succeed. Mm-mm. But like we said, you know, in this, she just has to learn how to balance it, and that's yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I love the baby. The whole time the baby was sitting there looking at like, her aunt like, like, who is this lady and why in the hell is she here? You here because he cares about your age. And be like, what time is you and what time is you leaving now? Because I need to eat. <laughs> I only get my mama between two and four, and you taking my time. Yeah. You know. But then we get on this. Um, Kimmy is doing an event um, where she's going around to the community. You know, we've seen this. You know, hopefully if you've seen this in your own community where people go out and make sure that as many people are registered to vote as can be. Yes. And, you know, and they had that event going on where they just walked around. Everybody was invited. Even Destiny, LeBaric, all of them, they were invited. And Mr. Martell decided he wasn't going to come. Yeah. And here's the thing that's getting on my nerves with Marta. And I get it. You don't want to be in the same space as the people that you said call the police on you once you locked up. I get all of that. But you're selective with that. Right. Y'all found space. And if for whatever reason you said it was for the kids, and I and I agree. And I, I, I'm with you on that. For the kids, put things to the side. Because the kids shouldn't suffer in all of this. Right. But these are the same people that were at your your children's birthday party. Yeah. And what if they decided to have the same thought process as you had? So it's yeah. cool that they could come into <laughs> your yeah. space yeah. when you're calling the shots of the event. But any event that anyone else has and they are a part of and you know they're going to be there, you want no parts of it. I get it and I don't get it. Mm-hmm. It's almost like a control thing. Like if you come over here to my thing, I could probably mistreat you and all this because it's my skit. But if and, I come over here, yeah, that's yeah, a and, lot. And then I can get it if it's like if Marceau and Tisha was having something and right. I, I could lean a little bit more on your side. I still would take your same stance, but I could understand better. And he didn't. He but didn't go to the this, podcast thing. This voting thing had nothing to do with Marceau and Tisha. Yeah. This had something to do with the community, what the show was supposed to have been about From all in the beginning out. with the comeback group and y'all um, building houses for less privileged people so they can have g- good places to stay and the community be good. Community event. You're not there. Getting people to vote so that y'all can have officials and make sure that y'all community be better. And you let that stop you from coming yeah <laughs> <laughs> while we're at it let's just go ahead and hit on miss wanda and kimmy because the event was going off so well with everybody going around walking around the neighborhood about the voting thing kimmy said you know it's a good opportunity for me to pull miss wanda to the side and fill her out make sure that we're still good da, da, da. um miss wanda is still on her bs <laughs> kimmy at some point I'm not going to be mad if you got to knock Miss Wanda out. <laughs> I'm just not. I just hope you don't have to come to that. Now, here's the thing that I love about Miss Wanda. Because I am the person that would have loved to have a Miss Wanda in my life. Like, for real, for real. Like, I had, like, the men in my family, they were like Miss Wanda when it came to me. But the females in my family, I, sometimes I was like, do y'all even give a buck? Huh. I would love to have had a strong female that every time something happened with me, they were barking like, what the hell? No, you're not going to mistreat her. You're not going to do that. I ain't had it. So I can respect that about Miss Wanda, but Miss Wanda needs to stay in her freaking place. She's just taking too goddamn far. She's taking too far. Yeah. She is at the extreme where you're going to run away all the good people in your daughter's mm-hmm. life because they don't want to deal with you. Yep. Come on now. Like, she's acting like someone that was bullied in school and now she got a little clout and a little something about herself and now she wants to return the favor and bully everybody mm-hmm. else. We're not doing that. So Kimmy, she she handles it very well. Yes, she Like does. she tells Miss Wanda, <laughs> are we good? You know, ain't nobody talking about you and your daughter behind nobody's back. Yeah. Every time we're in a conversation that y'all can't hear, mm-hmm. it doesn't mean we're speaking about y'all. We having our own relationship over here. And we're not talking about Tish. Yeah, I can't stand somebody that's paranoid. Yeah, because that's why that's why I said Miss Wanda take it too far. When you start making up stuff in your head. That's some skit right there. That's when you have a problem. Yeah. And you start being mad at people that stories is going through your head and nobody else's. You literally have made up 
a whole series of yeah. shit in your head so, that they Yeah, so you mad at, at uh, what you call it, over something that didn't even happen. Mm -hmm. That Just because you couldn't hear the conversation. Yeah. So we're going to end it with this right here. And we know about that because it happened to us before. It happened to me a couple years ago. <laughs> I got somebody that just cut me smooth off. <laughs> and they can't tell me why. Like, I called them and I was like, are we good? Like, kind of like with Kimmy, are we good? Like, because I noticed that you you different towards me. No, we're not. We're, we're fine. Why would mm -hmm. you think that? Well, one, you were the first person you told. I was the first person you told you were pregnant. And I didn't get invited to the baby shower. That's clue number one that something's wrong. Right. No, 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 nothing's wrong. Then next thing I know, I'm getting blocked off of social media and all this stupid stuff. And I'm like, you know what? I'm too old to chase it. Yeah. Whatever you made up in your head. I ain't got that kind of energy. I don't have that kind of energy. I, I barely got enough energy to do me. Hello. But all but the try to do me and do you. But I'm going to tell y'all what hell. it was for real. One of my friends. Yeah. Offended her. <laughs> yeah. And I guess I came with the package. I won't even around the friend when it happened. I won't. I don't even think I was in the same city as the friend. I heard about it later. And what my friend did, I do agree with. But they had skipped doing me. But it's kind of similar to what happened on the show. The, yeah. The, fr the friend gave truth. And now you mad at everybody. You mad at everybody about yep. it. I'm like, what the hell? But I don't care now. It's been a few years now. So good riddance. I'll see her in the grocery store every now and then. She won't speak to me. I don't speak to her. Whatever. <laughs> I'm like, ugh. Wonderful life. But anywho... So, we have um, Tisha. Tisha's having a conversation. I think her name was April, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's her friend name, yeah. Yeah. And she, well, Tisha's at the house alone because Marceau had to go to Texas to do some work for a few days. And she says every time her um, Marceau goes away, they have these long conversations. And Marceau hurt her feelings. Marceau pretty much told her that in this marriage right now, he's feeling alone. Like, he feels like he's in it by himself. And so she's, you know, telling April, she was like, you know, I'm taking a break from my wifely duties because right now I feel like a single mom. I said, don't say that because just because you at home by yourself for a few days with them children, they ain't got nothing, nothing to do with, with, with being, being a, a single mom. mom. Yeah. Because <laughs> at some point, your husband come at home right. to help you out. Yeah. <laughs> now, a real single mom, they don't know when help is coming. He ain't coming. Yeah. Most of the time, he ain't not coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... And she's telling April, she was like, I don't know how to feel about this conversation. And April gave it to her straight. She said, you know what? As somebody that has gone through the process and I didn't hear my husband when he was telling me these things. Mm -hmm. He was telling me I'm alone. I feel not heard. I feel not, not seen. And then this led to where we are now. Mm -hmm. So if he's telling you this, I think you need to really pay attention to what he's saying. Mm -hmm. And then Tish admits that... I feel like when a man is in a space like this, it leaves the door open for him to cheat. I was like, oh, hell, here you go. So we were having a conversation in the background about stuff like that. Like, like I was telling my husband, like, to, for the last two years, <laughs> I kind of felt alone in the marriage. Not because nothing was going on, but because he has so much that he was focusing on with his career and mm -hmm. getting his credentials under his belt, mm -hmm. Stanley would come home and literally grab my books, grab and his go. books, and go, go to the library. Yep. And be at the library. It would text me every now and then and be like, you know, da 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 da. And then when he leaving the library, he'd be like, you know, can you make sure you know food is ready? Is food ready? Because he would eat, get in the bathtub, go to bed. Yep. And it was like that until he passed his series seven. I didn't have no time with my husband. Weekends included in that same rat race. Mm -hmm. I mean, Saturdays and Sundays. Well, Sundays, you know, library's not open. But Sundays, locked in a room, studying books, 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 books. And I'm telling you the same. Yeah, and then the you, same thing. When, when, when you, was getting <laughs> you can your, tell a story. Yeah, when you was getting your real estate um, license. Not oh, real estate oh, license. Travel agent. Travel agent license, yeah. So she was pretty much locked in this studio. You don't know, that was right after I did that. So even after that, we didn't We wait. still didn't have time to yes. go. So it was two years. Yeah, so it... Uh, so that's why Ain't I, nobody I, cheat, though. I understood what Tish was saying, I but, I, but I don't want that seed to go out to newly married people to feel like or when your spouse has to do more to support the household and you feel lonely because of it, don't mean that they out there cheating. 
because they could be, they could be, <laughs> but I don't want that to be like you go into this and start accusing them of cheating and mess your whole relationship up before you find proof that the cheating exists. Now, I agree that if it's something that is already in you to want to do, <clears throat> yeah, it makes it gives you the excuse to do it anyway. To go ahead and do it. Yeah. But yeah, it doesn't mean that you are gonna do that. I mean, hell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then like we we've said it a hundred times on here that in a marriage, people have this concept that, that you're gonna get everything that you need. No, 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 no. No, uh -uh. no, no, no. Uh -uh. What what's my motto is I find out what you love and when you're in a marriage it changes. Yeah, it does. So, y'all heard this story before. When we first got together, I bought her some roses. And they was like 50 bucks. And back then, roses was considered to be very expensive because I won't make no all that much money. So I only found out a few years later that she didn't like it. I don't like flowers at all. She don't like flowers at all. And I was like, well, why didn't you tell me that? So I don't want to hurt your feelings. But but anyway, but I said it all to he say. He still need deliverance about this because yeah. these <laughs> flowers come up all the time. <laughs> but I said it you all. You want me to get your money back? Please. <laughs> it's uh, it's still your money though. I said it all to say, so when I do something for her and I see that it adds a lot of value, that's what I do. I yeah. stay on that. Until she don't like it no more. And then I find something new. Because it changes. It changes with the wind, man. Yeah. Especially when, when it comes to y'all women. Don't don't hurt me now. Y'all oh, change. They gonna get you. Y'all change. Y'all know y'all do. You know, and y'all change too. Not as much as y'all do. The lies. Not as the much as y'all do. Like this, like this year, you're on this whole cigar kick. I guarantee you by Christmas, it's going to be something else. Like, you're not going to even go care about it. Like, things just with you just change... And they don't change very quickly, but nothing really stays the same. Y'all change your makeup styles, you change your hairstyles, you change your friends. No, uh, I don't. I don't. <laughs> Sometimes you do. No, Not as much. No, I, I may I may take the I'll take the friend thing back. Your, yeah. friend, your friends don't 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 change. But people but dump me. But attitudes. Oh yeah. That's yeah. When I was going through an emotional time, man, I had to have a whole surgery that messed with my hormones and shit. But I'm leveled out now. Yeah. yeah. But I, but I learned how to, I learned how to navigate with change. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I don't like it, but I, I know how to navigate with it though. I've had the same friends my entire life up until like five years ago. I gained like one, two, three, four. I gained like five friends in the last few years. Yeah, we did. We gained. Yeah. How mm -hmm. did that happen? Because I'm an introvert and I don't really like people like that. Yeah. Well, see, I only I only have like one or two changes on you a year. That's not true. It is. You go from no hair to hair, short beard, long beard, <laughs> earring, no earring. But that's just like a, a small cluster of changes. Are we in competition? Are we Mel and Martel right now? We, in <laughs> we could be. We could be. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. <laughs> too rough. Too rough. Holla.